I've been wanting to make this video for a while because this brand cannot seem to leave my site. Like I feel like I am constantly bombarded and inundated with stuff that's related to Skims, which if you didn't know, Skims is Kim Kardashian's brand and I definitely have thoughts and opinions about the Kardashians, but I have heard that they make really good brands. And this brand is a relatively size inclusive shapewear slash loungewear slash undergarments kind of brand. And I've been really curious. I've seen so much about it, especially on like Instagram and TikTok. So I was like, let's try it out together in case you've been curious and haven't really been in love with the price point. And you're like, damn, I wish I could see what it looks like before I try it on or before I buy it. Then maybe I can serve that purpose for you. So I did order I think like four different looks to try on in this video. I'm gonna get really, really brave. Um, I'm not feeling super comfy in my body at the moment, so hopefully you will be gentle on me during this process. Let's jump in and try on a bunch of skims, which is honestly a sentence that I did not see myself saying, but here we are, so let's do it. All right, so here we have the box. Here is what it looks like. It is very chic packaging. I, when this box arrived, I was like, what is this? We have some beautiful bodies on some paper here. So let's open it up. This feels very fancy. So we have, oh God, oh my God. I got a lot of stuff. Okay, hold on. I like how the bags say, I am not plastic. I'm compostable, made from plants. I will biodegrade in your home compost and an industrial compost facility. I think that's amazing. So we'd love to see that. So wow, okay, where do I begin? Um, all right, I feel like I should start with like the classic sort of what Skims I feel like is known for, which is like their shapewear. They call it their seamless solution wear. And the thing that really kind of was interesting to me about this shapewear that I purchased is according to the size chart and my measurements, I would be a size large slash extra large, but everybody was saying that you need to size up. So I do believe that I sized up to a 2X slash 3X in this, which feels just kind of messed up. If I'm usually like a size extra large and I have to size up to like a two or three X and it only goes up to like a four or five X, you know? Like it just doesn't feel as inclusive as it seems. So anyways, these are called the Sculpting Short Mid Thigh with Open Gusset. They retail for $34 and I got them in the color Coco. So we're gonna open these up. They do look pretty nice, I will say. Oh. Okay, they look very tiny. <laughs> they sure look tiny. I don't know how these are going to fit my body. These look like they're for a small child. These look like a pair of leggings for a baby. I'm absolutely mind blown by this. <laughs> but I'm noticing that there's like some grippies on the inside, which is good. There is a spot for the butt and there is an open gusset. So, you know, in case you need to pee or anything else. And then to kind of match and just because I'm curious and to go with it, I also picked out the Fits Everybody crossover bralette in the color Coco as well. I also ordered a 2X according to their size chart and it also retails for $34. So it looks pretty nice. It does look really nice and soft. I am glad that I sized up in this, I think just for cup reasons. So we're going to try these on together. They're not an exact match color wise, but we'll just see how it goes. Okay, um, wow, this was not what I expected. <laughs> this was the most I've probably sweat to put something on maybe in my life, which like I get it's shapewear, but we're gonna start with these, with these shorts. Um, these are my worst nightmare. They're so tight. I'm running into the same issue that I ran into when I tried on Yitty, which was Lizzo's shapewear. And that I don't know if it's just because of the sizing or because of like the shape of my body, but the back of these shorts are already starting to roll down. And yes, it is kind of see-through in the back. It's just underwear, it's fine, but it's already starting to roll down in the back and I could easily see it just kind of eventually throughout the night like rolling down and I'm trying to pull it up like high but this is so tight. I know that it's shapewear. I know it's supposed to sort of give that effect. It's supposed to kind of you in a little bit but like this is not comfortable. This is not comfortable for me and I feel like in order to be comfortable I would need to size up to a size 4 5x and to me as an extra large that's just like well then what I mean that's it, that's where it cuts off. So the people who are a 4X slash 5X like actually couldn't wear that size? I don't know. To me, this is very confusing. If I got a size large slash extra large, I don't think I would have been able to fit in it like 
seriously. It's like really tight and really uncomfortable. And again, I know that this is shapewear. I am aware of that, but it's just not nice. It doesn't feel nice to wear. And maybe other people would disagree with me, but these are an absolute no for me. These have to go back. But this bra is great. I'm definitely gonna hang on to this bra. It's like a super, exactly how they would describe it, like comfy t-shirt bra. There's no support. There's no wire. I could sleep in this. It's very comfortable. It's a really cute color. I definitely can see myself wanting to get a few more of these in like different colors and stuff. I was a little nervous when putting it on because I was like, is there gonna be enough cup coverage? <laughs> I would only be curious to see like how that would go for larger sizes than mine. But the shorts, they have to go back. I'm sorry. Let me know if I'm doing something wrong. Like it, I can feel it physically rolling down as I'm talking. Like I can feel it moving and it's like making my sensory issues go wild, so. It's gonna be a no from me. But here is what it looks like as far as like the sort of sculpting aspect goes. It's fine. I don't think I would feel comfortable wearing this all night long. Like it would cause me abdominal pain. I already feel like an, an extreme tightness happening right here and I wanna take these off. The bra is staying, the shorts are going back. Absolutely not. Next up I ordered from the ribbed collection. I've heard a lot of people say really good things about these cotton ribbed sort of loungewear pajama underwear. So I got the cotton rib super crop tank in the color light heather gray. It retails for $36. I got it in a size 2X. And then I also got the cotton rib boxer to go with it in the color light heather gray size 2X and they were $32. So this set just looked really cute. I really love like a light heather gray color. So this is what the tank top looks looks like. This is a size 2X. Like to me, this looks like a large. So I, I actually am glad that I sized up. And then here is what the shorts look like. Again, they do look like they might actually be a good size for me. So I might've done well. And while I'm at it, I decided to try one of their robes. I've heard great things about their robes. And this is like a really nice kind of ribbed robe. So I'll just probably throw it on on top of the cotton rib set. And this is called the soft lounge robe in the color marble. I got it in a 2X and it was $88. It's a really, Really, really nice feeling almost like I would wear this if it was a shirt <laughs> material and it looks like a good size I sized up to a 2x because I wanted it to be you know a nice oversized fitted robe not like super tight or anything so we'll throw this in the mix as well and see what it ends up looking like okay this feels like I'm wearing Drew's underwear um, which I have done before <laughs> in a pinch when I've needed shorts but I will say that the thing that's just throwing me the most is the sizing like it's true you really do need to size up and maybe like someone who's a, a 2x could wear this and it would just look differently but to me this is like my perfect fit and this is a size 2x so it's just unfortunate because it only goes up to like a 4 or a 5x and so really ultimately someone who's like a size 20 ish would be like the largest size that they carry so it's not as size inclusive as it seems like I mentioned in the intro so all the sizing aside we'll like put that aside for a moment it's really cute like it's really cute I'm not wearing the right underwear for this I probably should be wearing either like a thong or no underwear or maybe like high waist underwear but we're just gonna ignore that for the sake of this try on it is so cute like this is a really cute set I feel very cute in it I love the color I could easily see myself wanting to get this in many other colors however would I actually wear this around my house I don't know I'm more of like an oversized t-shirt and biker shorts kind of gal but I could keep these and sort of mix and match them like wear these around throw on like a nice big oversized t-shirt and then like wear this with leggings and flare yoga pants and all that kind of stuff and maybe like mix and match but it is very cute. I guess I'm just still thrown by the whole sizing thing. It's very confusing to me. So very interesting. Very interesting indeed. And then here we have the robe. It is so comfortable. Oh my god, it literally feels like a t-shirt. For me, this is like the perfect robe because I am much more of a like thin material robe kind of gal as opposed to those like fleece ones that people wear because to me this is just way more comfy. I'm glad that I went with this size as well. Well, by the way, this is so cute. Really simple, very comfortable. You can mix and match it with a lot of different things. It has pockets, which is fantastic. It's really stretchy and like slinky and comfy. It's very simple, it's very basic, but I think that's kind of what Skims is. They do like kind of elevated basics, if you will. But yeah, 
The robe's gonna get like a 10 out of 10 from me. I'm keeping it. Next we have the sort of like very popular during, I would say last year and also this year as well. The sort of like teddy bear looking cozy collection. And I got two pieces. I got a tank top and a pair of pants. The tank top is called the Cozy Knit Tank. It's in the color camel. I got it in a size large slash extra large. It was $52. And then I got the pants to match. They're called the Cozy Knit Pant. I got the flare ones. They had joggers as well, but I wanted the flares. They retail for $88, so definitely the most expensive. And I got them in a size 2X slash 3X. Trying a new brand is always confusing because a lot of times, like I said earlier, the sizing chart will say one thing, but then the reviews will say another thing. And so it's kind of just a guessing game, but this material feels very soft. I would actually worry that I would maybe sweat to death in this. And it does look like a much lighter color in person than it did in the photos online, but wow, very, very luxurious feeling. So, okay, let's try it on. Okay, so we did run into a little bit of a snag with the sizing. I have been pretty lucky so far, but with this, especially these pants, I just didn't order the right size. I would recommend going with your usual size if you are getting these like very stretchy, cozy pants because they feel really good but they're just not the right size this tank top is fine it's the right size it's cute I as I mentioned I was waiting to try it on and sort of see how I felt after I had it on my body but it is like very warm <laughs> I live in Southern California so it doesn't really get that cold so I don't really know if I would have that many opportunities to wear this I do like the length of it I like how high-waisted it is I just wish it was you know my correct size Size. So if it looked something more like this, I would like it a lot more. But it's very, very soft, very buttery. To me, it reminds me of like the fleece zip up jackets that I used to wear when I was in high school or even now like those sort of fluffy kind of teddy bear looking fleeces. Like that's what this feels like. There's no lining or anything like that. So it's just this material. It's, it's toasty and it's cozy. And then especially they have like a robe that matches, like you could really go all out if you were into like the cozy cos and you needed to stay warm in like a cooler climate during the winter. But for me, this is just, it's not gonna work. I'm not gonna count the sizing error in the pants because again, I sized up in everything and one of the things was way too small, one was perfect, one was great, and then, you know, this was too big. So it's just, that's how it is. That's just how it is shopping. Really cute set, but it's just not for me. Okay, and last but not least, I had to try out this very viral Skims dress that I have seen like everybody wearing and it looks amazing on everyone. I've seen it all over TikTok, all over Instagram. I've seen a lot of people try it out on YouTube as well. And I was like, well, I want to know what that's like. Like, I want to I wanna be a part of the club. It's like sisterhood of the traveling dress. So this is called the soft lounge long sleeve dress in the color Onyx. I got it in an extra large. It retails for $88. And this better be the best damn dress I've ever tried on in my life because that is expensive. It does feel really nice. It feels like the exact same material as the robe that I tried on earlier. That like sort of ribbed, nice, thin material, which I like because I overheat very easily. I get very hot. So literally this is the same material. So in case you were curious, keep that in mind, but wow, it is a beauty. I mean, it's very long. It looks like it'll be very form fitting. And I mean, I already have my skims to go underneath it. So I feel like we've got to give it a, a shot and see what it looks like. Let's see if the hype is worth it. Oh boy. Oh, oh, oh wow. Okay. I kind of get the hype. First things first, not the right bra for it. So absolutely would wear like a strapless or one of those bras that's like strapless that has attachable straps to it so that the square neck could like do its thing and have its moment. But it is a gorgeous dress, I will say. Do I think it's worth $88 quality wise? Not necessarily. It's a beautiful dress. Like it is giving me a little bit of choir concert vibes, but it's also really beautiful and very comfortable. Like I could lounge in this easily. And that's what's so funny is when I was like browsing through their website and they were showing dresses under loungewear, I was like, <sighs> Yeah, fancy people. But now that I have this on, I'm like, I kind of get it. Like, it's very comfortable. Do I see myself going out and about in the world and wearing this? Probably not. I've said this on my channel multiple times before, but I'm just not super comfy with like the bodycon, super fitted type of clothing on me. Um, it's just not how I feel my most confident and comfy, but this is a gorgeous dress, I will say. I could easily see this looking really nice on a lot of different bodies 
body types. I like the black. I think it's very nice. I'm trying to avoid the word flattering because I've heard a lot of people say that they don't enjoy that word. So I think it complements me nicely. I don't see myself like practically wearing this. If I had like some nice event to go to or like a, a Christmas party maybe, but to me, this just isn't my exact style, but it's really beautiful. Like I don't have much bad things to say about it. I wish the price point was like a little lower. If you're curious about it, I would say check it out. I can see why this dress went absolutely viral. It's stunning and beautiful, but it's just not the dress for me. So I hope you all enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. You can also turn on my post notifications if you wanna be notified every time I post a new video. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Do you see yourself purchasing skims? Do you wanna see me try on any other items? Are there things that you recommend? Definitely leave it all in the comments below. I'm sending you all of my love. Thank you so much for being here and I will see you in my next video.